Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lin, and I hope that you had a wonderful Tuesday yesterday. Today is Wednesday, March 20th, 2019. It is day one. I also want to say it is Happy International Day of Happiness. It is the International Day of Happiness. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that your, uh, your kindness challenge today is to enjoy the things that make you happy today because it is the International Day of Happiness. And I encourage you to find and encourage your friends uh, to uh, appreciate the things that make them happy as well. Now, before we kick off into this wonderful day, please consider the word honesty. That is a character trait we are highlighting all this month of March. Think about what it means to you, what it looks like in your life, what it should look like among your friends. And most important of all, what does it look like when nobody else is looking? As I have been reminding you all this month, think about honesty and how easy it is to do um, when you are uh, doing the right things, you know? It's easy to practice honesty. In fact, we wanna be honest about all the things that we're doing that are correct and that meet expectation. The hard part is when honesty is uh, required when you have made a mistake or you have made a poor, um, uh, you had uh, engaged in poor judgment. At, at that point, honesty becomes one of the hardest things to do. Regardless of which situation you're in, I encourage you to practice honesty, no matter if it is easy or if it is hard. Now, as many of you know, we are still uh, engaged with the Race for Education fundraiser with our PTO. We are uh, over halfway through the month of March, and we're beginning to make some progress towards our $8,000 goal. Now, I do want to say that Miss Kane has extended her lead. Remember, you may have remembered that uh, Miss Lucky in the second place position was only about $5 off. Now she is $15 off. Miss Kane has uh, taken a more uh, sizable lead. Mr. Gantz is still in the third place position. Miss Yoakum's AM Kindergarten is in the fourth place position. And then we have a new class in the fifth grade, uh, fifth grade place position, Miss Ogrechek's class is only $7 behind Miss Yoakum's AM Kindergarten. So Miss uh, Miss Ogrechek's class, if you are listening, if you are watching, you are only $7 off. Seven. Okay. So you know that is totally easy to surmount. And of course, if you are in Miss Yoakum's class, I know you want to maintain your, your position, if not move up. So uh, let's get working with our fundraiser. Miss Zurich's class, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Um, you're only $5 off from Miss Ogrechek's class in the 6th place position, and then Miss McDonald's class is now in the 7th place position. Everybody's doing a fantastic job raising money. I encourage you to keep working on it. Just know that all the money you raise uh, for our PTO gets used for you, you know, for um, assemblies, for plays, for special events, all the fun things that we do with our community. A lot of that is used with PTO money that you raise. So don't think that this money is being raised for something that you'll never see. This money is actually being raised for things that are important to you, things that make our school here at Fort Zeller extra, extra, extra unique. Now, don't forget uh, our Mindful March Kindness Challenge is still going on as well. Yesterday, your kindness challenge was simply to listen deeply to someone and really hear what they're saying. Now, um, that is something that it can be hard when our days are really packed, when we have to do things on on the run. So hopefully you had a t uh, you had a moment yesterday in class or even at home where you just stopped. You looked someone in the eyes, you gave them one hundred percent your undivided attention, and you really sought to understand what that other person was really trying to tell you, what their message was. As I shared with you, our kindness challenge for today is to simply enjoy the International Day of Happiness, to really appreciate all of the big things and the small things that make us happy. I just wanted to go ahead and announce that. I know I typically give you the kindness challenge at the end of the announcements, but you know what? I am so uh, happy that it is the International Day of Happiness. I just couldn't keep it in. All right. Now, don't forget our three expectations here at the school are number one, be respectful. Number two, show that you are responsible. And number three, show that you are ready to learn. If you're in the cafeteria, show that you're ready to eat, right? If you're on the bus, show that you're ready to ride. Don't forget that respect and responsibility doesn't happen just in the classroom. And it doesn't happen when your teachers are looking. It also happens when your teachers aren't looking, when your friends aren't even looking. 
What does it mean to look like you're being respectful and responsible? And what does it look like to be respectful and responsible in other settings, like in the gym, in the hallway, in the, uh, in the cafeteria or the bus? Think about that. I know it's really easy. It's easy to remember and recite our three rules, our three expectations. But when you think about it, they apply to almost every situation that can ever happen here at the school. Now, um, the Bee Bucks Cafeteria Challenge, speaking of the cafeteria, is still in effect. Um, as you might have uh, noticed, yesterday, Tuesday, I was not in school, so I did not have a, uh, an opportunity to see if anyone has changed up the leaders, uh, the leaders board with the uh, cafeteria challenge. As it stands, uh, from my most updated information, Ms. Eshelman's class is still in the first place position. Ms. McDonald and Ms. Ogrechek and Ms. Booth's class are all tied in the second place position and then Mr. Gantz and Miss Kane's class are tied in the in the third place position. If that has changed I will make sure tomorrow to uh, reflect those changes. Now at this moment I encourage you to join me in participating as an invitation in our mindful minute. You'll notice that right now I am actually seated on a chair this is a little bit different. I'm actually in my in-laws house and um, I, I just had to find a quiet corner. So I, I don't have a place to sit in my normal preferred position, which is to be sitting on the floor uh, crisscross applesauce. But that's okay because many of you guys actually like to practice mindful minute in a chair, just as some of you like to stand and some of you guys like to lay down. So why not? To me, I'm thinking, why not? Let's Let's do a mindful minute while sitting at a chair, okay? And, it, and at this moment, if it feels right to you, go ahead and close your eyes. And if you don't want to close your eyes, you can also simply uh, soften your gaze and focus on a point in the classroom or even right there on the floor in front of you. And go ahead and take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. If you're like me, that very first breath is just a little rushed. We can be more deliberate, more intentional. Let's go ahead and breathe in through our nose and out through our mouths. Just as we did yesterday, I encourage you to practice one of the techniques that allow you to focus on your breathing, whether it's the raised hands with the lowered hands Whether it's the three quick, quick breaths in, followed by one breath out. Perhaps it's the starfish breathing. Breathing in towards your fingertip and out through, down towards your web. You can also smell the flower through your nose and blow out the candle. Choose a technique that works for you and you may begin now. And just as you become comfortable focusing on your present breath, expand your awareness using all five of your senses to notice your setting and your time and place right now. Allow your sense of touch and your skin to sense the uniquenesses of the air touching it or your clothes rubbing against it. Allow your sense of smell to notice the tiny odors and the sensations of smell that might exist right there in the classroom or in the hallway, wherever you are. Listen to the sounds 
I'm in a house right now with many people in it, many family members. I don't know if the microphone is picking it up, but there are, is some crying, a baby crying in the background, some whispering and some talking downstairs. If your eyes are open slightly, notice the colors in the classroom or in your space. Your mind may wander, just as it is for me sometimes, and gently bring your attention right back to your breath. And as you become at one with your breath, breathing in and breathing out, knowing that you're breathing in and fully understanding that you're breathing out, you may then regain that awareness around you using your senses. Now in a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter and you can't hear it anymore. At that moment, you may open your eyes and take in the world around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to be successful. Whether you have a great day or not is ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please rise and, uh, and uh, stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I will step out of the frame and we will recite it and then we will finish our morning announcements when we get back. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Great job. I appreciate you all joining me. Don't forget, our kindness challenge of the day today is simply to enjoy Happy International Day of Happiness. Wish that happiness to others. Think about the tiny things, the small things that you might not even notice that make you happy, like fresh air. Oftentimes we take that for granted. And think about the big things that make you feel happy, like family, like uh, going on your favorite roller coaster, or being with your friends. Think about all of those things that make you happy, appreciate them, be grateful for them, and encourage your friends too to find the things that make them happy as well. Our goal internationally, which means around the world, is to allow everybody, all seven billion of us, to take a moment today and enjoy happiness. How cool would that be to make this day one of the happiest days ever? Your teachers will be asking you about your plans and what makes you happy. I hope you ask your teachers too about what makes them happy. If you take a moment right now, look at your teacher. Notice that they too are human beings. They too have emotions. They too can be frustrated. They too can be upset. They too can be joyous and happy. Ask them, if you don't already know, ask them what makes them feel happy. I think the very act of asking somebody else what makes them happy can make them happy. Try it. Do that to your teachers and do that to some of your friends. And with that, let me set you off to a wonderful Wednesday. It is Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. If you haven't already made the decision, it's still not too late. You can make the decision to make the rest of the week the best rest of the week ever. It starts with trying to make today the best day ever. Can't wait to see you guys around. Have a wonderful rest of the day.